Hello, my name is Madison, and I am a student at the British International School of New York, which is a co-educational private school based in Manhattan, New York City, which challenges and encourages students from ages 3 to 14 to participate and take action in the safe and happy environment of a classroom. My inquiry is how can the DNA of the Mexican axolotl impact medicine? The Mexican axolotl is a salamander that inhabits the bodies of fresh water in Chocomilco Lake near Mexico City. Now, this amphibian is m most known for its interesting trait, which is to regenerate limbs and vital structures. Now, I was very interested in this animal when I found out at a museum, and I wanted to learn more on how this could impact humans. While learning about the Mexican axolotl, a research told me about how scientists found out that 89% of our genes are shared with Mexican axolotls, and this led me to a theory that our DNA closely resembles those of the axolotl. Even though I couldn't obtain the axolotl's DNA, I knew I could um, look at the human's DNA to really understand the basics of DNA and find out how it can regenerate. Now, I built these three models to help me understand how DNA works. Now, furthermore, I found out that two proteins in the Mexican axolotl, peewee like one and peewee like two, actually prevent jumping genes, which is a problem for regeneration. We have these jumping genes as well. So I thought perhaps in the future, if we learn how to extract these genes in some sort of liquid or a, um, a syringe, like a vaccine, then maybe we can insert those proteins and we can regenerate ourselves. Now, I also found out that um, a common cause of cancer in the United States is tumor suppression. That's when ep epigenetic marks in human DNA triggers an on and off switch for tumor suppression genes. In fact, more than 50% of all cancers involve a missing or damaged P53 gene, which is a tumor suppressor gene. However, from other research, I learned that axolotl oocytes, which is an egg before evolution, contains powerful epigenetic modifications with the capacity to turn back on tumor suppression, meaning it could cure cancer. Thank you.